Hello guys and girls, Sean Lockett here, your host of the Mystic Paranormal Podcast. Um, today I'm going to share with you a story that took place back in 1993. It's been, I know it's been a long time ago, but this is one story that sticks out to me. Um, it'll never go away. And there's multiple witness to this story as well. Um, I just posted a video about Riverview Cemetery about being chased out by a shadow figure. And this took place in the same cemetery. Um, I can't remember if this was before I got chased out by the shadow man or if this was after. I honestly can't remember, so I don't know. I just know what happened. <sighs> and a lot of you guys and girls ain't going to believe what I say. Because the details of this story are so significant and so mind-blowing and so unrealistic almost that it, it's unbelievable, but it's true. I mean, I give my right hand to God that this is true. I swear on everything living that I care for that this story is true. Like I said, it was back in 1993. It was a full moon. I remember that specifically. It was a full moon. We were up at my Aunt Cheryl's house. Um, it was me, my cousin Chris, my cousin Melissa, my sister Jamie, and her boyfriend Mike Downard. Okay. Um, Mike had to go home. And he lived down the road and wanted to know if we could just walk him down there. And that's what we did while well, the cemetery was on the way at Riverview Cemetery. My, my cousin Chris lived right on Riverview Cemetery. So we're walking down there and we decided, hey, why not? Let's just cut to the graveyard. It'll be cool. There's a bunch of us. It's a full moon out. It's a cool November night. Nothing better. We're always into the paranormal. We're always doing stuff like that. So why not, right? Excuse me. So, we're walking through the graveyard, and all of these deer, there's a whole bunch of deer, which was weird. I mean, I've never seen so many deer in my life, let alone right there in the graveyard. And um, they were just running around, doing different things, and it was cool watching them. I mean, they didn't even seem to be that afraid of us or anything. They were just kind of running around, and... um. All of a sudden, my sister said, do you see that? And everybody's like, what, what? And she said, there was a light. And me, being so much into the paranormal, had so many experiences in the paranormal. I'm looking all around, you know what I mean? I'm like, Jamie, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? And she's like, over there, over there. She pointed, and I seen above the tombstones, guys, probably... I don't know, 10 yards above the tombstones, there was these blobs of light, okay? And they would fade in. They would move from the left to the right. And they would get brighter as they went to the right. And there was some detail in there. There was some humanoid detail. Not much, but there was. And um, I'm like, what is that? And all of a sudden, everybody's looking at them and everybody sees them and they, they're... They're appearing and, and going left to right probably every couple of minutes. I mean, it, this is an ongoing thing. They're constantly appearing and going around. They are not shy at all. They are not afraid to show themselves. I mean, they are they're going left to right. And all of us seen them. And my cousin Chris to this day says they were falling stars. And he is just afraid of the paranormal. And he doesn't... Um, he doesn't accept the possibility that something like that exists. So even when it was right there in front of his eyes, he could not believe it. But everybody else did. Everybody else said the same thing, that this is these are ghosts, man. I mean, there's no doubt about it. These are full-body apparitions going left to right. So we kind of drift down a little bit in the cemetery, we, we like more towards the road. See, Mike lived on the other side of the road, down down the street a little bit, St. Clair Avenue, East Liverpool, Ohio, Ridley Cemetery. And um, so we go down further. We're, we go down kind of over a hill, and we're looking up, and it was freaking us out. So what we did was we left the cemetery. We crossed the street, and we're on the sidewalk on the other side of the street. So Ridley Cemetery is right across the street. It's wide open. You can see the tombstones. You can see everything. 
and we're just walking towards downtown East Liverpool, but he didn't live downtown. He lived well before that. We were only a five minute, five, ten minute walk away from his place. So we're walking down the street and we're constantly looking over there and I'll never forget. We all looked over there in this one blob. There's an American flag that stands in the cemetery of Riverview right at the beginning. And there was one blob of light that went left to right that was as high as the the um flag. It was as high as the flag and it went left to right and as it got brighter you could see an arm reaching out, you could see a face, you could see legs at the bottom and all of a sudden more more lights, more ghost lights appeared underneath it and it looked like they all had detail. They all had detail. They all had detail like um like they were humanoid. And it looked like a family of ghosts that were going left to right. Now, I don't know. It's weird because I, I think right in the beginning, it's like soldiers and stuff that died. Um, so I don't know if it was soldiers. I don't know if it was, uh, you know, family members just kind of swarmed around the cemetery from other parts of the graveyard. I don't know. But it was real. It was real. And they were moving left to right. I could not believe my eyes. It was like, it was just so unbelievable what I was seeing. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And it just kept happening over and over again. It got to the point where my cousin Chris wouldn't even look at the cemetery. He would not even look at it because they were there. There was no denying it. It was 100% fact. There was no fakingness. There was no mistakingness. It was what it was. What it was, I don't know. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes 9, 5, the dead know nothing at all. And can no longer partake in anything that is done under the sun. Okay, so if that is true, and I'm not trying to push the Bible on anybody, believe me, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying what the Bible says. King James Version, Holy Bible. So if the dead know nothing at all, and they can no longer partake in anything done under the sun, then that would mean to me, and probably to you, that they can't partake in anything on earth. So with these ghosts, lights or whatever we were seeing they were doing something and that was obviously done under the sun right here on planet earth so either a the bible is wrong and ghosts can partake in things that are done here on earth under the sun and or they were demons um maybe they were demonic i don't know they gave no indication of being bad there was no negative vibe I kind of did get a negative vibe, though, when I was seeing it because my brain was processing this. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But it's real. It's 100% real. I've seen so many movies. I've seen so many documentaries. I've seen so many photos. But this is right in front of my face. This is right there. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? The Bible says the dead know nothing at all. Yet we've seen this. And they were obviously ghosts or demons. I don't know, guys. I don't want to push demonic. I don't want to push ghosts, dead people. I don't want to push that. I'm just saying what the Bible says and then comparing it to what I saw. So anyway, we continued watching these things. And they just kept appearing and forming and doing the same thing over and over again for like 10 minutes. You never see that on TV. You never see that. This was something so special, something so dramatic, something so awe-inspiring. I'll never forget it. So we walked Mike home, and then, you know, we had to dip down into the town or the neighborhood a little bit, so we got away from the graveyard. We didn't see anything anymore, obviously, because the graveyard was out of view. We dropped him off home. He was stunned. He was scared. And then we decided, well, we had to walk home. So we walked home, and, and as we walked home, we were across the street, and, and the lights were still going on, guys. They were still going on. I wish back then we had cell phones like we do today, and I could have filmed them, and it would be a video that would be out there, probably one of the most popular ghost videos ever recorded. And I'm not just saying that because it was me. I'm saying that because that's what it was. So we walk home, we seen them. Couldn't make sense of it. Got in the house. Our uncles are there. Our aunts are there. We're sharing the story with them. They don't believe it. Obviously, we're just a bunch of kids. Um, but that that was it. And I remember going home and 
And, you know, my friend Bob showed up, the guy that was in the cemetery, the big guy, when I got chased out by a shadow figure. And I told him all about it, and he believed it. And my sister told him. And I think we walked back up to the graveyard. Yeah, we did. We walked back up to the graveyard that night because my friend Bob wanted to see this. And there was nothing there. We didn't see nothing. It was gone. It was over. So what do you guys and girls think that was? What do you think about the Bible saying the dead know nothing at all? But yet we see things. Yet we get photographs. We get EVPs. We get Ouija board experiences, which when it comes to Ouija boards, guys, I'm not saying they're not right, but I've never had them work. I've had people fake them before, but I've never had them work. I've been with honest people, sat down, done Ouija board things. It never worked except for one time Gretchen's Rock. Nothing moved on the board, but paranormal experiences took place that day or that night. And it's in my videos. I think it's called, it's something about, just look, you'll see a picture of a Ouija board. It, it's in my, um, my videos and you can watch it. Nothing moved on the board, but something happened and you can check it out. There's quite a bit that happened actually. But, um, guys, if you're into this kind of content, if you're into the paranormal, subscribe to my channel hit like i'm trying to make this channel as big as possible it's been a long time since i've posted here um i got a lot of personal stuff going on in my life right now i'm just moving into a new apartment i move in june 1st and um that's it for now guys that's it for now i hope you enjoyed the video and uh please comment tell me what do you think what was that and those of you from east liverpool ohio those of you watching for me, Silverpool. Have you been to Riverview Cemetery? My guess is yes. Um, have you ever had any experiences there? And if you have, please post them in a comment on here and, and, and tell me about them. I would love to hear about it. And I'm sure the viewers here would love to hear about it as well. That's it for now, guys. I hope you're having a splendid evening or night or day or morning or afternoon. Whatever it may be, wherever you may be, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. So that's it for now, guys. Peace.